good morning today's lecture is on the process of reading one of the most famous essays written by wolfgang eiser in 1972 the reading process eiser was born in 1926 in germany he studied english literature and german literature along with philosophy he received his doctorate for his dissertation on the 18th century english novelist henry fielding he taught us how to interpret and perceive ideologies in literature he transformed the way in which literature is perceived and interpreted eiser offered a way of understanding texts his theory legitimized the existence of differences in interpretation it is a paradigm shift for literary studies the approach brought in by eiser he lectured both in english and in german he was a professor of english and comparative literature in the university of constance and also professor of english and comparative literature in the university of california till 2005 eiser attempts to define the process of reading he says that one must take into account not only the actual text but also the dynamism the actions the flow of thoughts that are involved in responding to a particular text so he claims that reading is a creative process the reader's imagination works out the meaning of a text reading is a pleasure when it is active and creative and therefore reading now becomes a process of creativity the unwritten aspects of apparently trivial scenes actually create the meaning unspoken dialogues draw the reader into action the suggestions given by writers will be shaping the meaning though we might not notice it consciously eiser quotes virginia wolf who is analyzing the works of jane austen wolf is arguing that jane austen stimulates the readers expands the meaning in the minds of the readers she is presenting obviously trivial life scenes which carry broader enduring meanings the stress is laid upon the character in the main story which is inferior jane austen's greatness is packed and therefore eiser claims that reading is an interaction between a text and the person who is reading eiser claims that reading is an interaction between a text and the person who is reading he is bringing into discussion the views of roman in garden and lawrence stearns in garden is analyzing the structure of a text and how it can be perceived analyzed interpreted in multiple ways whereas stern says that writers have to leave certain meanings for the imagination of the readers thereby meaning is created by an interaction which is very active between the author and the reader accordingly a literary text must be conceived planned and structured created to engage the imagination of a reader therefore reading from the perspective of eiser is a creative art just as writing the reader has to study sentences he has to analyze how sentences act upon one another literary texts must be therefore analyzed in this manner they do not correspond to any objective reality outside the text all the meanings are within the framework of the text and they are called by him as intentional sentence correlators and 
he draws these ideas from in garden sentences link up in different ways to form more complex units of meanings hence these sentences create a different world these sentences therefore of course are intentionally correlated there is an order a system they come in sequence these sentences are the component parts of the thinking process statements claims observations are made and all these convey information and by doing these complex works sentences establish various perspectives aizer uses a very interesting metaphor he says reader is climbing into this vision of the text he enters into the world of the text a sentence not only says things directly it also aims at something beyond what it actually says and this is true of all sentences in literary works this is creating the special quality of literature and the sentences in literature indicate something that is to come which might not be actually discussed by the author openly the sentence has the structure of which is foreshadowed by the specific content the author would give some directions some hints here and there for the reader to imagine the meaning literary texts are thus full of unexpected twists and turns and obviously there will be gaps and these gaps are left by the text itself the individual reader will automatically fill the gap according to his personal intention this action reveals the dynamics of reading modern texts especially are written in a fragmentary manner therefore the readers have to fill in the gap wherever required reading process in a literary text is select each time one reads a literary work we can expect a new meaning the reality of the reading experience will illuminate the basic patterns of real experience that is interestingly we do not most of the time understand what's happening around us it takes time for us to think about the experiences and understand their significance and meaning and aizer is comparing reading to a real life situation each person will see a reflection of himself in what he is reading he will naturally supply the missing links and read what he wants to read he will interpret the text from his perspective just like what we do in real life we understand things in the way we want to understand the reader will customize facts to his interpretation and he will arrive at his meanings a literary text can only picture things which are not there says aizer another scholar gilbert ryle into the argument now ryle says and he is asking a question analyzing imagination how can a person fancy that he sees something without realizing that he is not seeing it it's a very complicated question for example when one sees a mountain he no longer imagines it when we read a novel and later we watch a movie based on the novel we feel it differs from how we had imagined it this picturing visualization is one of the activities through which we form the gestalt of a literary text now what does gestalt mean it means a pattern a configuration and this involves the process of anticipation gestalt or pattern is colored by our selection process every reader will select the meaning it's not given by the text itself it rises from the meeting between the written text and the individual mind of the reader there is a transaction that is taking place 
the unfolding of the text is the consequence it is an event the resultant impression of life likeness hence the structure of reading is dialectical interactive dialogical so these theories have transformed literary research we now know critics read the meanings they want to read in texts we have understood the limitations of literary criticism the influence of iser has been so deep and powerful most of us are actually unaware of the origins of ideas he first described it was he who theorized the simple perception that the meanings of a literary text are not created only by the author and it the reader is not a passive person receiving ideas thank you